this? What is that? What is that? What Stay with me, baby. Wait, wait, wait. So, wait. Both times you wore Middle Easy New Cage? Knockouts. What happened, baby? Knockouts. Been in the cage two times with the Middle Easy logo, and what happened both of those times? Hey, kick knockout, same way, both times. I can't complain. I got like, first one was 21 seconds, this one was 31 seconds, so I'm slacking on you guys. I don't know. <laughs> Coincidence, or is that your game plan to show off for the website readers? I guess, man. Uh, you know, it's, uh, I visualize that kick a lot. It's my, my favorite striking technique, and uh, it works really good on lefties, you know, so I was just trying to set it up, and, uh, man. It worked, hit him, hit him well, and I, I knew it rocked him because uh, I flinched at him and he kind of just looked at me, like looked past me, so I just went after it and luckily I caught him with a good punch and that was it. Were you concerned at all before the fight and how was the weight cut? Uh, the weight cut was good. Uh, it was really good. I've dropped my walk weight down quite a bit. Uh, the last few pounds sucked. Um, but no, you know, I... I wasn't concerned. I was kind of, I was kind of jittery uh, on my own. I'm normally real, real calm, not really nervous or anything like that. But uh, you know, I feel like I've made some major improvements lately, and uh, I really wanted to show everybody, you know, that that I have improved and that I belong in a big show. And uh, you know, I, I, I just didn't want to disappoint anybody because I felt like my last <laughs> fight was just, you know, subpar. There was, I don't know, I just, I didn't, I wasn't happy with it. So I just want to show everybody, you know, that I, I can, I can compete at the top level, and uh, hopefully I did that. You, know, well, you didn't did. disappoint anybody, and I definitely expect to see your face on the next poster, uh, whether it's for RFA, Titan, yeah. UFC, whatever. Um, 155 your weight class for you? Yeah, definitely, man. Uh, 155 is for sure where I want to compete at. There's no way I can do 45, and I feel like you know fighting these guys cutting down from 200 to 170 is just this is not for me. I'm not big enough, and the punching power difference is huge. So I'm 155 is where I'm at. Has it been difficult for you to find opponents? I mean, no. I mean, I wouldn't say difficult. You know, there's always people out there willing to fight you. You know, it's all about. Uh, you know, I, I I really just leave that up to my management team. You know, and they. Uh, they deal with that stuff, and uh, you know, I, <laughs> they know the answer for me. I, you know, I'm a fighter, so I'm gonna fight whoever. But uh, you know, they, they decide. You know, the fights and all that good stuff. So I leave that up to them. They're doing a great job with me so far. It's five wins in a row, man. You know, I, I got to think I'm knocking on a big show's door. But I'm real happy with RFA. So you know, there's no need for me to jump ship right now. So you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, I'm I'm good where I'm at. Uh, if UFC calls cool. If not, it's no big deal. You know, I'm I'm good where I'm at. And what was training camp like for you out in the... This was by far the best training camp I've ever had. Uh, a lot of a lot of guys came out of the woodwork and you know had fights coming up around the same time I did. You know, so everybody was in the gym all at once, and uh, you know I just I felt great. You know, I had I have Brian Davidson and Tim Elliott. Those two are my, my main training training partners. I know they're smaller guys, but and you know these guys they, they carry a pace that's unlike you know any 55 is going to bring. You know, so a pace and pressure, and that's I think the pressure that I'm trying to bring to the table is you know where I get from the smaller weight classes. So. So, you know, I had a bunch of other people that I trained with, you know, Zach Cummings, you guys are going to hear about him real quick, uh, uh, Rob Kimmons, you know, pretty much everybody in the Kansas City area that's 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 awesome. You know, I, I did a little bit of training with at some point or another to get ready for this. So I couldn't ask for a better camp, man. I stayed healthy uh, all the way through. Uh, weight cut went good. I couldn't ask for anything better. I know you kind of go about your career just fighting the tough fights, but have you ever thought about taking maybe the trash talking route and uh, a la Chael Sonnen? <laughs> no, no. Uh, I don't know, man. I can't do that. I'm not a good, I'm not a good liar. So, what about trash talk? Can you no, give I'm us not, like a good trash talk. Uh, I mean, I have a hard enough time trying to look mean and scary. So it's you know, it's uh, I, I I really can't. I'm not. I'm not a good trash talker unless people want to start talking with me and then you know if they make it personal and then it gets real with me so then it comes out real so uh, you're probably not gonna see a bunch of trash talk from me I mean I'm, it's just not my not my thing but uh, you know I don't know you know, you know I'm a different person in there you know when, when we're when we're in the cage I'm, that's my livelihood you know I mean that's my that's my food on my table you know that's that's not a game to me so we're not friends when we're in there so you know, it's 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 all good. You know, when I, whenever I step in there, we're not friends afterwards. It's good. You know, as soon as as soon as I finish them, back to friends. You know, boom. But uh, I try to get mean, try to get aggressive. You know what I mean? And, uh, I try to talk with my hands. So. MiddleEasy.com here with the James Cross. Is there anything you want to tell our readers before we let you go? 
keep reading Middle Easy? I don't know. Make sure you check out E. James Cross's Highlight Reel, brought to you by Lazy Savage. Middle Easy. That was what I was supposed to say, and I messed it up.